back oh my god people I have this uh donation from Jacob Jacob Smith that's a little different uh he wanted me to list my three top uh concept metal albums but he told me don't add Queensryche Operation Mindcrime or Opeth Still Life and then when you give your three then rank those two albums on there so yeah it's only three and uh I even had to do a little research because I'm like, eh, what, what is a concept album? I mean, I know, you know, the three I have, you know, I, I knew there was a concept. But I was looking and, you know, I, I wrote down a list here of some that I found that, that aren't on my list. Like, there's Nostradamus from uh, Priest. There's um, Seeds of a Memory, which I love, off Queensryche. But that's, I mean, Queensryche, listen to me. Dream Theater, but that's more prog than metal. Um, Crimson Idol, Wasp, Iron Maiden, Seven Sun, Blind Guardian, Nightfall, and Middle Earth, uh, Six Degrees of Turbulence, and you know, I mean, it doesn't really count, even though it's you know, it's not really metal. It's proggy. Twenty One Twelve is only one side. Uh, or Clockwork Angels, I believe, was a concept album. Um, yeah, there are only three, so I'm trying to prolong this. So. Um, so, okay, I, I guess I'll... I'll and, and by the way, no, I, I'm not a fan of Seven Sun. I'm sorry. I love Moonchild and the title track, but the rest is like... Mm. And I'm not a fan of uh, Crimson Idol, too, or Neon Gods. You know, Crimson Idol, I did like Chainsaw Charlie. And, and two of the uh, Hold On To My Heart, that ballad, and The Gypsy Meets The Boy, those three songs I really like. The rest, not so much. I mean... Yeah, the first couple songs are okay, they're kind of heavy, but eh, it's not something, I just think they're fair. But I do understand there's huge fans of Crimson Idol and, and Seven Son of the Seven Son. I'm just not one of them. So Jacob Smith, here are my three. Man, this is going to be a short video, but, you know, here we go. Um, at number three, I would put Keepers of the Seven Keys from Halloween. You know, I do like those albums. I mean, my favorite Halloween is uh, Walls of Jericho and Judas and, and uh, you know, the Halloween EP where Kai is singing. Those are my, but I did enjoy Keepers 1 and 2. You know, I think they're both great. Um, and that would be at number three. At number two, uh, I would put uh, Bruce Dickinson's Chemical Wedding. I think that album's phenomenal. It's just awesome. Um, and honestly, I would put that in Accident of Birth above anything Iron Maiden has done after Power Slave. Uh, all right, number one now. Um, the way I'm judging this is because, think about it, King Diamond, almost all his albums are concept albums. And this is not... Um, you see, my favorite King Diamond is Fatal Portrait, but that, it's not a full concept album. Side One is the concept in the last track. The Haunted is, uh, for you old school, for, for you new schoolers, The Haunted is what ended Fatal Portrait in the early days. I'm sure now they, they added the lake on later copies. Um, that's my favorite. Now, my favorite story from King Diamond is them. You know, I like the you know, I, I like pretty much all King Diamond, the I and all this. But I'm picking the reason that I'm putting Abigail at number one is because it's my favorite uh, after Fatal Portrait, and it is a full concept album. So Abigail uh, would be number one. So my my list is Abigail, Bruce Dickinson's Chemical Wedding, and Halloween with Keepers of the Seven Keys. Even though I don't understand that story at all. Um, now, he wants me to say, okay, now where would you place Queensryche, Operation Mindcrime, and um, Still Life from Opeth? Well, Operation Mindcrime, I would put above Abigail. I think that is the greatest metal concept album. Greatest concept album ever is actually my favorite album ever, which is Pink Floyd The Wall. 
and Pink Floyd, I, I like, you know, I like a lot of bands. I like early Queens like over Pink Floyd. I like King Diamond, you know, okay. Pink Floyd is probably like in my top 20. Um, but oddly enough, The Wall by Pink Floyd is my all-time favorite album. Go figure. Now, Opeth Still Life, uh, I would put it above Keepers. So adding those two albums, it would be Operation Mindcrime, number one. Abigail, number two. Uh, Chemical Wedding, number three. Opeth, Still Life, number four. And the Keepers albums, which is, you know, five and six, if you want to be technical about it. So I, I guess this is long enough of a video, right? So thank you, Jacob Smith, for your donation and your, you know, thinking out of the box where it's not a track by track. So, you know, my top three. And it was, you know, because, you know, actually, I actually thought you meant top ten until I oversaw it again. And I was thinking, man, I was having a hard time thinking of ten metal concept albums. Now, if you were to add classic rock albums, yeah, you can add, you know, Quadrophenia and, oh, there's a lot. Tommy and, you know, I can go on and on. But you said three, and I think I made the video long enough. So thank you, my friend, for the donation. And if you'd like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them. A gob. Bah.